Nice. Okay. I will talk about this as some things that I can help with. Are there any things that you have questions about for these ones before I abandon them? No, I don't think so. I really did not enjoy doing the painting approach, to be honest. So I, I just, just knock it off the list, I guess. I could, if you want, show you how I would uh, approach your same concept with the painting approach. And then you can kind of see, oh, yeah. well, I could see why. Uh, but before that, let's talk about this. Um, really great start. And do you feel like you're getting faster? I know that was a concern early on. Yes. The, the amount of time that I spent on the line head sketches versus the painting head sketches was like drastically lower. I mean, great. insanely lower. Cool. All right. So let's talk about uh, some design stuff here. And if I could ask, uh, I'm guessing you're going for like a stylized uh, look. Yep. So I see a through line of something that's not a problem because this is still valid, but there's there's some things that feel a bit too like regular and even. So if you look at how this compares to this, compares to this, it's like a, a very regular distribution of those shapes. You know, it's like we can even take the vertical and move it down here. It's pretty close and move it up there. It, it's not exactly the same, but there's a sort of evenness that I'd want you to push against. So let's go ahead and move that over. And what would I do? Let's lower the opacity. So it's like I want one of those elements to dominate. So right now, the beard, the nose, nor the hat are really dominating for, hey, that's that character with the big hat or the big nose or the big beard. It's, it's more like, oh, that's that character. So I kind of want to have a sort of statement to drive that. And I, I think the nose is the, is the thing to work with. And so I'd probably push that a little bit bigger like this. And then, or the mustache, that, that works too. And really push that mustache like that or whatever, um, or keep it even smaller. That could be fun and joyful too. And then for this part of the beard, I'd probably make it smaller. And then the hat also smaller. And I know it's like now changing the whole character, but kind of you can kind of see what happens in, in terms of like how the feel is different. Because now this nose is kind of becoming the character. Or it's, the, it's a defining element of the character. And of, of course, those, those elements could be switched around. Like, what if we made the hat really big, especially for something stylized? And then you made the mustache also really big, completely overlapping everything. And then the goatee stays small, or that also just becomes longer or something. But now, Basically what we're doing is like, there's really, there's no even shapes the same way as, as there were before. Um, Cause now we have like these new shapes that are, you know, making the dynamics of those, those shape relationships kind of amplified. So that would be my main suggestion for the, uh, for the face and the design. And that same uh, thing was kind of happening for all those sketches. Like the position of all these are just a bit too even and regular. But let's talk about the painting and the lighting. So right now, not sure what I'm seeing here. Was this from last week? Did I see that before? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like I might have overlooked it. Uh, let me kind of just take a peek back at the reference. So it seems like it's actually top light, but with a shadow. Is that correct? Or we have yeah something. Okay. Yeah, I was confused. I thought it was side light from the left. All right. So having said that. I would probably indicate distinct differentiation of the direction of the shadow. So, you know, this would fade like that. And this one, yeah, put a black and then. So that it looks like it's it's pooling here and then gradating out from there. And then there's a, a shadow that just blocks that light source. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you have that, and I know it's in the early stages, yeah, there's some conflicting things here. So the, the light down here implies the front light. But if it was front light, 
or front top down this part of the hat would not be in shadow it would be in light and then the shadow would be on the left side over here fading forward unless i'm mistaken with what you were trying to do i had uh interpreted my egg as kind of being like the actual main light source being top left and then the shadow coming across vertically huh uh, yeah i guess i guess i'm just not seeing it properly <laughs> well if that's the case then that's fine for me it just felt like uh because in this reference if we look at the chin and we just isolate that as a sphere the strongest point of light is in this like top right area and even if you look at the nose, the, the light source is on the top right with that little specular highlight. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I guess that, that was a mistake in, in the way I constructed the egg. Either way, it's fine. Let's say for yours, you do want to make it from uh, top left vertical. Uh, that's that's still fine. You know, you can obviously vary from that. Ah, uh, okay. So I know it's just a work in progress. But the, the next step for me, assuming you want to change or, or keep it the same in terms of the, the proportions, would be to start being very specific with where those highlights are going to be. And that's going to require like a very controlled understanding of the wireframe of everything. So in this case, we'll go with the top left vertical lighting. This would be facing the light, gradating down to not the light. Uh, so for moments like that, it's like just very carefully placing those highlights and kind of going through and predicting where they would hit. You kind of end up with something like that, uh, of course, up here and there. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I, I don't see any reason to think that you can't do that. Uh, I think you're on your way. My main, my main critique for you is the proportions. Um, any questions on like on that before I do a quick demo of? Uh, yeah, um, the the beard kind of feels a little sausagey. <laughs> I guess yeah. it's a little boring, uh, and I, I was really struggling to find anything that was more interesting that would still make sense as a beard. Yeah, I would probably just get in there and analyze some of these, and you know, it's like get in there for all the all the beard references and. You know, look for the overall shape, the silhouette, and then the, the texture. So the shape is like, you have these kind of, let's grab this brush. You know, it's like a, this kind of S-curve noodle situation. And that has its own geometry as if they're like, you know, worms 